In this video, I'll be testing this Ozark Trail 10% family cabin tent against rain. It rained for about an hour while I was using this Ozark Trail tent with about 20 minutes of moderate rainfall and about 40 minutes of pretty light rain and I got some pretty interesting results. The rainfly only partially covers the Ozark Trail 10% tent which is to prevent water from seeping in through the ceiling mesh. Because the roof of this tent is curved, water doesn't collect at the top and instead drips down. However, because the rainfly is quite small and covers only the ceiling mesh, even with just light rainfall, rain does get on the window mesh, so it's best to keep them fully or close to fully closed. Also, a lot of water will drip into the tent when you enter through the door. This Ozark Trail 10% tent has bathtub flooring of about 5 inches, and the seam connecting the blue part of the main body of the tent to the bathtub flooring is not taped or sealed, so a lot of water was leaking through that seam. After about 15 minutes of mostly light rain and some moderate rainfall, I started to see some leaking through the seam. No water seeped through the bathtub flooring though, and it was still dry after an hour of light to moderate rainfall. Which seams are taped and which are not. The vertical seams and the tent body are all taped up to a certain point. The topmost horizontal seam is not taped, but that's okay because it's protected by the rainfly anyway. The second seam from the top is not taped, but there is no leaking. The third seam from the top, which is in between the white and blue fabric of the tent, is taped, so there was no leaking here. The bottom most horizontal seam that connects the blue tent fabric to the bathtub flooring is not taped and there was a lot of leaking through this seam. The window seams are all completely taped in all five windows and the door is completely taped as well. As for the fabric of the main tent body, I noticed after 15 minutes of mostly light rain and some moderate rainfall that some water was already seeping through this blue fabric here and the fabric was pretty much soaked. The white fabric was not wet because it has partial protection from the rain fly and is less exposed to the rain. There are some pretty large holes where the guy lines are connected to the main tent body but it is fairly high up so water won't leak through these holes. But they are pretty big and you can see quite a lot of light shining through. I was a little worried that the e-port would leak but it overlapped the inner fabric quite well so I didn't notice any leaking. Overall, because a lot of water leaked through the untaped seam and even the tent fabric after just 15 minutes of mostly light rain, I would say that this Ozark Trail 10% tent is not waterproof at all. There's quite a bit of water leaking as you can see here around the sides of the tent and also at the corners of the tent. And this is just for mostly light rain. If you're stuck in a downpour and heavy rain for many hours at a time, this tent will probably be flooded. Also, there's no vestibule so your shoes will get wet in the rain. So I would recommend using this tent only when you're not expecting rain or if you can waterproof this tent on your own. For a full review on this Ozark Trail 10% tent or if you need to learn how to set this up, check out these two videos right here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.